Let's say you're walking down a crowded street and spot someone you briefly met at a party three years ago. Most of us would walk right past them without a second thought. But there's a small group of people who would not only recognize their face instantly, but could pick it out of a police lineup or spot it from an unusual angle in low lighting. These people are called super recognizers and they make up only about one to 2% of the entire population. Super recognizers were first documented scientifically in 2009 by scientists at Harvard. They could remember faces with almost supernatural accuracy, even faces they'd only seen once decades before. Ever since, police departments have recruited these rare individuals. London's Metropolitan Police now has a team of over 200 super recognizers who have helped solve countless crimes by identifying suspects. But scientists are only just beginning to understand what's happening in super recognizers' brains. In 2024, there was this groundbreaking study that recorded brain activity from 16 super recognizers and 17 controls using EEG while they viewed various pictures of plants, animals, landscapes, and of course, faces. Not even 65 milliseconds after an image appeared on screen, so faster than the blink of an eye, super recognizers' brains were already responding differently from everyone else's. What piqued the researchers' interest was that this difference in brain activity showed up regardless of what they were looking at. The super recognizers' brains seemed to process all visual information differently, but it gets more interesting. Researchers at the University of New South Wales, Sydney, led by David White and James Dunn, wanted to understand exactly what super recognizers were doing with their eyes that made them so good. Using eye tracking technology, they discovered it's not quality, but quantity, aka not how much their eyes take in, but what their eyes focus on in a face. And their abilities might extend beyond just vision. A 2021 study from the University of Greenwich found that super recognizers were also much better at identifying both familiar and unfamiliar voices, suggesting there might be something fundamental about how super recognizers process identity information across across all their senses. Super recognizer skill cannot be learned. So if you're hoping to be one, you can't. They appear to be born, not made. However, you can actually find out if you are a super recognizer. The same researchers at the University of New South Wales created this free online test called the UNSW face test, specifically designed to identify super recognizers. I definitely do not have it, but you might discover you've had a superpower all along. And if you do, let us know below. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for a very special Stranger Science episode at the end of the month on Amelia Earhart.